to add order. Item number one is to approve the agenda. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, item number two is public comments. Is there anybody from the public who wants to weigh in? Since we have nobody on Zoom, we, uh, those of us who are on the committee are recognized as public during this session. Is there anybody wants to stay? Yeah, when are they going to get the elevator fixed? <laughs> on the 12th. I've never. <laughs> We're going to make this of it. Okay. So I don't know if this is the right time, but I guess I'll throw something out there. Um, so I was not able to go to that event that we had just over here downtown last month, but uh, two of my employees were, two of my veteran employees went, and they had really enjoyed themselves. That operation, I forgot the name. Cabin Fever? Cabin Fever, yeah. Um, a lot of positive feedback from that. Really enjoyed the Medal of Honor. So, you know, get the Medal of Honor going in there. So yeah, I, mean, I wished I could have gone, but I got stuck there. I couldn't, I couldn't sneak away that night. I just want to throw that out there. Fantastic. The DAV put that out. Yeah. We were kind of disappointed it wasn't a, the crowd was pretty sparse. I don't know why. I think the weather played Well, that was the snowstorm day. Yeah. 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 Don't forget about that. Yeah. Roy, I thought. A lot showed up considering the weather. I mean, well, yeah, mm -hmm. considering the weather, yeah. I mean, what a snow. Somebody at every table. Started the music at five o'clock when uh, true. Yeah, instead of after everybody left. There's a lot of talking. I mean, the talking didn't stop yeah. till 10 o'clock, I think, or sometimes. I think it's missing it, but I really want to hear about the other, other, you know, I don't blame folks how good it was. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay. 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 That section. And we're going to uh, section three, section two. First, we need a motion to go into closed session. I make a motion we go into closed session. Now, second by the way. Roll call, all those in favor of saying aye. 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 aye.
All those in favor say aye. 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 Roll call one more time. All right. We're out of full session. <clears throat> the next item is to approve with the previous minute meeting minutes. They will also be approved the meeting with the previous meeting from March 1st. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Thank you. Next item is to accept the current financial report. That's what we're saying. Let's have the tone. It's going to make a pretty good start. So today's totals were four thousand eleven hundred four thousand eleven dollars and twenty seven cents. Our remaining balance as of today was eighteen thousand nine hundred nine fifty one. So we subtract four thousand from that, and that gets us fourteen thousand eight hundred ninety eight dollars twenty four cents. One four eight nine eight point two four. So I hope that'll change our current number of applications approved to seven. We haven't denied anybody this year. Which leads us to Fox Valley Veterans Council. Here is the spreadsheet from the first quarter. Never mind. Is there? Oh, there was a call. Oh, All right. How would you make me think I'm losing my mind today? I hope well, I had a rough morning. <laughs> I had a rough morning. <laughs> I thought we only do they only do one mark mark as well. Some of that is some of that is dental. Um, there's a dental program. Okay. Um, so that does not fall under those the same requirement. Those are small little co payments. Okay. If there's a financial need at Tri County Dental. Uh, Tri County Dental will refer over to Fox Valley Veterans Council. They'll do a checks and balance with myself and the council there. And then the council will pay the co payment for dental. Um, okay, I'll call it for the next So you're, you're going to see a lot more of those because they're really, they're really pushing it to, uh, to get some of these guys some dental help. Um, and everybody that's on there. For dental, I mean, I, I know they all need. They, they're all just make pretty good buy. They're not abusing it. They they have like a, a, a income limit, and if you're below a certain income limit, um, then they'll consider the copayment charges. So, and it is for. For those that don't know, it's Tri County Dental. It's over by the VA. I saw something that uh, VA is really pushing to include dental, just like health. I just saw an article this morning, and I which there, there was a there was a pilot program that they ran for a couple of years that was kind of. Uh, I didn't really promote it too much because when I looked at the cost of the premiums versus what they actually cover over the course of the year, I was like, well, this is, you know, yeah. it's almost like a wash. <laughs> um, so I've never been a big proponent of it. Um, yeah. 
but I don't know if they got something new. Well, I, that's, I wish I would have printed the article. I didn't have time to read it at the moment. So uh, uh, if I find it, I'll let you know. So there's a program in Wilkinson, a panel? Yeah, it's a chatty corner across the street from the, uh, the clinic. It's called Tri County Dental. It's not a vet, it's not veteran specific. It's all oh, it's low income. Um, they do routine basics like cleanings, checkups, x rays. Uh, they'll remove a tooth. Um, they'll do a little bit of work depending on because it's basically dentists are going to time. Uh, students from the, the schools. Oh, and, is that the thing that they were promoting before for uh, free dental care? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh boy, no, well, nobody was getting able to get through to them calls. Oh, no, 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 that's a different one. That was up in Green Bay. So, oh, I know it's been yeah. Well, the, the Tri County has been around for a long time. Um, you just haven't seen it on the spreadsheet because the, they haven't really been promoting this uh, veteran program to the Fox so Council for the last year or so. So that's why you probably see it more on this, the last few spreadsheets. Um, just because so of the way. Anybody that's yes, there is an income. Okay. Well, can we just send them there or what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, like, if you have a person that's got like a tooth that's really bothering them and they need it released. You know, like you can send them there, and they'll yank it. they'll yank it. You know, and if they're a veteran, they'll pay the bill. The income on Otherwise, there's some co-payment charges on them. Oh, that is quite a different total. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, that last one's better. That one better for one of those dollars. But if you look at that spreadsheet, that last one probably wasn't on there for yeah. sure. Yeah. I go to Yeah. Yeah. When we saw the bill, I thought, oh, okay, we're going to have to So, per our agreement, we're going to pay half of this. So, 30. Thirty-eight something. Yeah, I was going to say thirty-six, uh, five or seven, maybe. Seven area. Thirty-six, sixty-four, sixty-four. They're they're doing a good job of verifying. Three six six four decimal four. So if you notice, they're they're checking to make sure that they got good, good qualifying service and stuff like that. So the clinic just doesn't take it upon themselves to just verify it themselves. There's a checks and balance, and they come to us and we validate. And there's some people I can't validate. You know, I haven't been able to validate, and I basically say I can't validate this person's electron basically because there's nothing in the state or federal system. So in that case, they, they either pay the co-payment themselves or they find their DD-214. So uh, this, this 3664 64 comes off the sheet from today? That comes off of, it's going to come off, yes. So in part two there. Part two. decimal 64. Oh, damn. I can put the balance in there. Sure. Every remaining balance. Like, yep. Something like the remaining balance. $9,335.36. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that 33535. I got something, but I got to read the bag. Six. Three, six? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, what was that again? 
Nine three three five decimal three six. Okay, I look like I'm in trouble. Get that food over here. I said to put the remaining balance in the food. I had all the one in it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, well. Talking about Monday. <laughs> After three it's Easter Monday. Yeah. yeah. Three day holiday. Yeah. yeah. It always comes. So, our new balance is $24,233.60. Yeah. Yeah. One more time. 24. The, the, the spreadsheet we do because I got names and stuff on my phone. Oh, yeah. Okay, next item. Old business. Get a few things to talk about. Um, so, NA CVSO accreditation training. That's the national accreditation training. There's an online version in April coming up here, and Shane and Teresa are registered, our two newer employees. So, here by the end of the month, they'll have their national accreditation. So, they're, they're accredited with the state and uh, American Legion. Uh, this will get them the DAV. DAV, yeah. DAV. They shouldn't be a W or A. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Give them the paperwork for that. But. So those two are just about all completely 100% yeah. So salary, uh, salary study in the county. And um, I'm not going to get into crazy details with it, but um, every staff member received a raise because of that study. Um, Remember Tom a couple years back they did something. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So um, between the merit this year and the percentages, um, every every employee in our section received a raise. There were some employees that did not based on the market study. Mm -hmm. Moving drastically again, I'll speak with the county board, even though I'm not on it, we're drastically under most of our staff. And then end up that we've got such great training. Like for sheriffs and highway department, and some of those things we train them up. They go to how to give your phone to some county next door and get seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars a month more. So, a month, yeah, yep. Uh, so that went well. Considering uh, there was a a budget that was kind of factored in a little bit, uh, so. Wish it could have been more. We had to keep it under a certain dollar amount. Um, next, though, we're going to be working on uh, looking at pay time off and things like that. All that, how that's all factored. So, more to come on that. Uh, Tom, did you see County Board Supervisor Mike Norton passed away? Yeah, he was my buddy. Unexpectedly, so. Um, He was, uh, yeah, he was, he was supportive of us, you know, he was a lady. Uh, for the veterans. So, um, he always made it a point at any committee meeting or to, you know, to say something positive or ask some, not really questions to belittle us or anything like that, but just to kind of highlight what we're doing and things like that. So, his support was just so. Yeah, it was definitely not. Uh, so that I had to worry about. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. He was dead. 
we can always we spend a lot of time in this room. Absolutely. Hundred percent behind all veteran initiatives. Ruling the Washington all the lots of the world. Everything is going to be missed in the first and second two years. Um, I don't know. Uh, thing from Ali come under old business as well. Ali Nelson um, from CBS or EWI. That that just I just got that this morning. Oh, okay. So um. So that I just wanted to make sure you're aware. Yeah. It's really important. So. One other office thing that we're working on is uh, we're having soft soft conversations with uh, Calumet and Odegini about doing uh, a, a benefit expo, uh, suicide awareness. Uh, Expo, something. We're going to join up together and, and work on doing some sort of big, massive benefit thing for the veterans here in the area. So, the Valley and Oshkosh and Calumet. We're looking at 2024. We're touring some uh, expo centers to kind of come up with the best place that might be centrally located to all counties. And uh, we're going to pool some of our funding together to. To make it happen, so um, planning for next year, spring of next year. So that is all I have. Okay. Item seven: New business. State, federal, and local will start with federal first. I have an email from Rachel, my former liaison from Waco to the Hill. It says we're very close to an agreement on the CBSO Act on the House side. We reduce the funding level in the bill so that it passes the Republican controlled subcommittee and committee. There is a subcommittee markup scheduled for April 19th, and if it passes then, we'll be in good shape. NACBSO and NACO are on board with the proposed changes because honestly, the only way we can get the bill moved. So. So that's really the only. Uh, See the little dollar signs up in it at all? Or pardon? Is she pretty vague with the dollar signs? Uh, she didn't even mention the dollar signs. Yeah. But that I'll find out on Thursday, more than likely, because I'm still on the callings to the Naval Veterans Committee. Um, and if I do find out anything, most of it. it. Like I said last month, it's already out of committee in the Senate. It just hasn't been brought to the floor. And I have a feeling that they're waiting to see what, what the House does. And then we'll go from there. But it looks good. So now i got to work a little bit to see if I can go to Washington and get a pen to sign it. <laughs> There you go. I've got one on my wall in my office. I was in Walker's office for a bill signing, and so I got a pen from him. Shadow box. Oh, it would be nice to get one on the national level. There you go. No. <laughs> I will not. All right. Any other? Again, let me reiterate this. If you read this carefully, it's. Uh, it's important. I know. I know. They don't want to the bill. That's the one I was down. Actually, I was kind of thinking of running up to Monaco. Okay. And this, because we know just about all these guys going. <laughs> Ali is. Uh, He's a good leader. I, I like, I like it. All right. Next meeting, May 8th. Please be here or be square. Right? Will you be out of Florida by then? <laughs> no, I'm not certain. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to be here.
She won't be here in April next, next year. year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you <laughs> Right, well, five minutes, me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Where's safe? Oh, the roadies, I'll have a perch pizza to go. <laughs> <laughs> what? There. Yeah. That sounds yeah. horrible. Yeah, oh, like <laughs> okay. oh, 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 I always joked around. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. What you use the stuff for that? I don't remember. I really don't remember. All I know is I used to always come in and say I have first three days to laugh. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> you get the service. <laughs> hey, ham was spam to us. <laughs> That was a delicacy out there. Yeah. Right, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get spam. I don't think I'm going to start now. I've got Fanny Oil Marine Corps. And my wife and I have Sarah Lee's wife. That's famous. Why? Why was it famous? For yeah, I don't know if I'd advertise them. She's strong, doesn't it? We've got a big investment in spam. They ain't Jerry too. I think the motion's were very nice. I had to thank it then. All in favor say aye. 